Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the questions also that came through is about file corruption. So, you know, Windows and all the things you do, the software you use, uh, have different files that are stored on your hard drive. And your hard drive is, of course, um, where all of, of all of it's happening. Uh, Windows is stored there when all the files needed for it to work. And sometimes, well, you can have file corruption that creates different things. It depends which file is corrupt. It can be anything from your PC refuses to boot up to random blue screens, random freezes. It could be not Windows itself that's affected, but a specific software. Maybe you're using your, an email program and the email program freezes, but Windows is fine. Uh, all of that is uh, and could happen with corrupt files, but how do they happen? How does a file go from being fine to being corrupt? Well, the first, uh, probably the most common uh, reason for that to happen is a sudden power loss or an improper shutdown of your PC. So you're working on your PC, you're doing stuff, power failure, PC shuts down in the middle of a session. That could create corrupt files. Files that were open, for example, while you were using it, the shutdown meant it, they didn't close the file properly. So that file might still be okay, but it could also have a change to it that now makes it improper for you. So a software or Windows or something can suddenly crash because the file isn't read the way it should be. Maybe some data in it has changed and the data, the, the change is uh, a change that is in incorrect. So that's the same as, you know, when you press the power button because your computer has frozen, for example, you hold that power button for five, 10 seconds, PC shuts down. Well, that also is a possibility of corrupt files. Uh, it could be an improper time of shutting down. Say, for example, you were doing things, you're downloading files, um, your PC is updating, and you decide that it's, you know, let's shut down now. That could create improper, incorrect uh, files that will be written in a wrong way and won't be good for either Windows or a piece of software. Uh, corruption can also come from within the own system or programs. It could be a set of instructions within Windows that isn't right and that will be fixed in a bug fix, for example, that will write a file, but the file is never correct. It's always corrupt uh, because of the improper instructions on how to deal with the file. Uh, sometimes it's databases of software I remember one of the big fixes that I often had to do in my tech duty uh, time was Microsoft Office, especially with the Outlook app. There was a PSD file, and that PSD file would become huge, and everything was stored in there. So sometimes that PSD file could get corrupt for some reason, and now Outlook wouldn't work. Uh, Outlook would behave bizarre, would crash, and you know you had to recover that PSD file so that you create a fresh new one. So there's all sorts of different things that can cause it. Could be a faulty drive. Your drive might have a flaw. Uh, sometimes the firmware of the, the the drive itself has uh, a flaw, and one out of every you know 10 million writes as a, a problem and so when it happens within a file that it's saving that's important crash um, one of the things that is often overlooked but there are statistics out there over it um, the on the ssd drives particularly but even on magnetic drives um, high uh, power particles from space uh, that you know will across the earth every day uh, there is a statistic that says that you know one out of I don't remember what's the number but one out of every you know few billion um, corrupt files or or even crashes on Windows and, and PCs might come from 
one of those high-powered particles uh, that simply went through your computer and it changed a bit, changed a little bit of data here and there. Um, it's, it's, you know, thinking about it is, is crazy, but it, it does happen. Uh, but there's so many little things also that, you know, hunt, r software that isn't written correctly uh, can corrupt files and so on. Uh, but the biggest, biggest creator of corrupt files is improper shutdown, either to, due to a power failure or people shutting down their PC uh, in incorrect ways. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.